Hey guys, this is Jerrica. Welcome to my channel. So, with the news that I woke up to, I decided to do a makeup look. The same makeup look that she has in her photo, at least from what we can see through the veil. And excuse this lipstick that keep getting out on key. Like, this is why I only wear matte drying lipsticks because when you just wear regular lipsticks, they get on your teeth like nobody's business. But anyway, so I wanted to do an inspired makeup look from Beyonce for her pregnancy announcement her twin pregnancy announcement. I can't believe she's having twins. Anyway, so I wanted to do a makeup look inspired by her photo shoot look because I thought it was really simple and natural looking. So if you guys would like to see how I got this look, then keep watching. Alright guys, so you guys already know the first thing I start with is my concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee. I like to use this as an eyeshadow base. If you don't have any type of eyeshadow base or whatever, you can use um, concealer. Or concealer works with primer as well. So eyeshadow base or primer, if you don't have any of those, you can use concealer and then set it with any type of setting powder. And instead of using my Sasha Buttercup setting powder, I use my Airspun loose powder that I got from Walmart for $5. And I'm not sure, but I know it's $5, so you can get it at Walmart really cheap. The next thing I'm going to do is use my favorite highlighter of all time. This is by Hidden Cosmetics in the color Gatsby. I'm going to put this on my brow bone just to highlight it to make it look more, make, just to make it stand out. I swear I've never had a highlighter that was this good, but this highlighter is life and I absolutely love it. So the next thing I'm going to do is go into my Morphe palette and use that lighter brown shade as a transition color. Even though you can't really see it, um, it's still, I swear it's a great transition color. And I'm going to use my CoverGirl Ebony Browns bronzer for the um, crease shade because this is a really super warm brown. It's like an orangey brown and I love this color for a transition color. So it's just perfect. I swear if you guys have any bronzers, if you use a bronzer for your crease shade, it just looks so good. Especially a matte bronzer. Make sure it's a matte bronzer, but it just looks so good in your crease. Her photo shoot looks like she has some type of mauve brown color, so that's the reason why I chose this color for this. Next thing I'm going to do is take the exact same color and just put it on my lid. I'm taking the, um, the CoverGirl bronzer and putting it all over my lid. And then after that, I'm going to apply a little bit of shimmer color from the Morph palette. This is brown shimmery color in the palette. Um, I just put that right in the front. I was just basically going, just trying to think of something at the last minute, but I just wanted to add a little bit of shimmer. So that's what I did. So you can see me adding that shimmer right now. It's a brown sparkly color. It's really pretty. Then I'm going to take the tape off, which kind of hurts if you're not careful. And um, it just has this perfectly creased line. I love it. So now I'm applying my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color 30, and I'm going to buff it out with my Real Techniques Blending Sponge. I love these sponges. I've never had a beauty blender, but I, I would say if you have one, I'm sure this is very comparable to that. But it's amazing at blending out concealer. And on top of that, I'm going to add my um, LA Girl Pro Concealer and Toffee. I didn't use this the whole time because I'm running out and I'm waiting for it to come in the mail, my new color. Um, I've used this to the bitter end, but it's amazing. I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup setting powder, my favorite setting powder ever, and set under my um, my eyes. This stuff is amazing. It has no flashback, and it's just so beautiful for women of color. So you know, you guys should definitely. If you don't have it, you should definitely get it. I got mine from Amazon, and it's just great. I'll also try and link that below as well, so you can buy that as well. And like I said before, I don't bake anymore with this because it looks too yellow. I look like a piece of lemon pound cake after baking with this, so I'm just like, nope, I'm going to have to just press it into my skin. Then I'm going back in with the CoverGirl Ebony Queen bronzer, the same color in my eyes, and use that as my bronzer, because, you know, it is a bronzer. So we're going to use that instead of doing any type of contour. Because it didn't look like she had any harsh contour or anything like that, so I just wanted to have a bronze look. 
and I'm just making silly faces for her. I have no idea why. I'm going to use the same color and put it under my um, on my lash line as well, just to warm it up a little bit down there. I just love this makeup look. It's so easy and simple to do. Now I'm taking my Illegal Length Mascara by Maybelline and also doing my lashes because she does not have any lashes in this photo so I just want it to look natural. And I'm going back in with my Hidden Cosmetics um, Highlighter in Gatsby again and putting that on my cheeks and on my nose. I love this stuff you guys. It's amazing. And I'm going to contour my nose too. I forgot to do that earlier but yeah. For my lips, I'm using this Wet n Wild um, pencil. It's just a brown pencil and it's uh, in the color. I don't remember what color it's in, but it's a brown pencil, a uh, Sigma Brown. And I'm going to use a pink lipstick. This from, I got from Walgreens. It says Kate on there. I can't remember who or when or, or what was on here, but I just know it says Kate. And I'm using this pink and I'm going to mix this with my Wet n Wild and my NYX. Um, red lipstick so that it can get a little brighter red because I didn't have a bright red lipstick so that mixing the two kind of made it brighter which is what I wanted and that's pretty much it you guys so I thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat and I thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day